Hey there guys, so I want to preface this video by saying I apologize if I don't sound my best. I'm currently going through COVID-19. I've been quarantined in my room for the past couple days, but that's not why you're here. <laughs> um, so typically every GNOME installation comes with the GNOME extensions application. And what you can do from here is that you can go on the extensions.gnome.com.org website. Uh, we can find an extension that we want to use. So let's just say a clipboard indicator. And before we can even get in started with installing these is that you have to have the GNOME Chrome shell package installed on your system. And then you have to install the, uh, uh, the browser extension from Chrome or Firefox or whatever. And it's, it's a bit of a mess. It's a bit of a mess. Um, but once you do that, you'll be able to manage your extensions from the extensions page. And we can add these little snippets of code that just extend the functionality. We can add a panel, we can add desktop icons, we can add uh, tray icons, and all, all sorts of really cool stuff if you like the GNOME desktop, but feel that you should suit it more to your liking. Now some people might find the GNOME extensions application a little bit uh, too bare bones. Uh, like I said, you can sort through it, you can check out the credits, but that's really about it. So someone went out of their way. I'm gonna go ahead to Extensions Manager um, to make a more powerful GNOME Extensions application. And that guy goes by the name of Matthew Jakeman. I will be leaving a link to his project in the description, of course. Um, all the credits go just to him. Um, and what we can do from here is exactly what we did in our regular GNOME extensions application. We can turn on that dashed panel, turn on the desktop icons, all sorts of cool stuff. But instead of going through the GNOME website and installing extensions and setting all of that up, we can actually install ex these extensions directly from the application. So let's go ahead to clipboard indicator. We can just press install, press install go to installed and just like that we have clipboard indicator installed without even having to open our web browser once at all um, of course we can always go to our settings as well so let's go ahead and go to the desktop icon settings <laughs> and that's actually kind of funny because the, the so let's try something else so let's go to arc menu settings and just like that we're in our extension settings um, but that's really all that there is for this video. We can uh, sh set up uh, shortcuts. We can, you know, like I said, we already looked through <laughs> everything about it. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, more videos are to come when I'm done dealing with COVID-19. <laughs> and with that being said, have a wonderful day. Hope you liked this video.